Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the first new project I've started since the Big Boy District podcast. Uh, this will also be the first recording venture that I've done by myself in quite some time because I'm a busy man with a lot of uh, boring shit going on in my life. But pretty excited to finally jump back into recording. Uh, excited to start recording more Let's Plays and stuff like that, especially since I got a brand new microphone that sounds significantly better than the setup I had before. Uh, but I digress. Today we're jumping into something a little bit unexpected with the whole GTA Definitive Edition hype. Um, I was inspired by the spirit of Christmas and I wanted to go back and replay some of the older GTA games. Because uh, I actually like the older GTA games more than the newer ones. Which isn't to say that I, I dislike GTA 5 or anything like that. I've just, I don't know, I've always kind of had a thing for like Vice City and GTA 3 and this game. Uh, I don't know if that's like nostalgia or, or what, but it just kind of seems like I have the most fun playing the older games. So with that, I decided to record a series for GTA San Andreas. Uh, my reasons for doing San Andreas specifically are mainly because it has the best controls of the original three games, but like, I really wanted to record the OG version of the game instead of the definitive edition. And my logic for that is pretty simple. I mean, I already own the OG version, and the Definitive Edition kind of sucks a big fat dick, apparently. So, why would I pay money for what's basically a really crappy San Andreas mobile port when I can just record the PS2 version, not pay for anything, and not have to deal with the uh, Definitive Edition bullshit? Uh, yeah, if you're sad that, that I'm recording the original version instead of the remaster, I apologize. But in all freaking honesty, I'm probably doing you a pretty massive solid, because that definitive edition sucks something fierce, let me tell you. Anyway, San Andreas was um, it's probably like the second or third Grand Theft Auto game I ever played. I was probably in like third or fourth grade. And I was definitely playing it at a friend's house because my parents were very, very, very anti-GTA. Uh, which was kind of funny because they didn't give a shit about any other M-rated games that I played. It was like just GTA that they, were, that they had a problem with. So I kind of had to sneak around with GTA. It was kind of like a, like a secret mistress, like cheating on your girlfriend sort of situation. Where I would, you know, go to my friend's house, play GTA, and then feel guilty about it. Uh, but I don't know, since then I've uh, had ample time to play the shit out of this game and pretty much every other GTA game throughout the years, so I have beaten the game, and I do have a fair bit of experience with it, but um, I haven't played San Andreas in a really long time, so there's definitely going to be some, some pretty serious rust to shake off. Uh, personally, I've always kind of seen myself as being kind of shitty at GTA games for whatever reason. Like, I don't know if I'm just unlucky or <laughs> if I'm just, like, terrible, but I tend to fail missions in really comedic and, like, cartoonishly stupid ways. So I'm sure that'll happen quite a bit. We'll have fun anyway. San Andreas is it's a fun game. It's, it's the GTA game that many people consider to be the best in the series. So without any further ado... We will go ahead and jump into a new game. And I'm just going to hope that my audio settings are all fine and dandy because I didn't really think to check before doing all this. I mean, obviously I did like my little preliminary test, but I just kind of faded out after that. Francis International Airports. After five years on the East Coast. Fuck. That's heavy, bro. That's a heavy way to start the game. So we're going from Los Santos International Airport straight to getting pulled over by the cops. Life comes at you fast. Samuel L. Jackson, everybody. Give him a round of applause. Samuel L. Jackson is the voice of uh, Officer Tenpenny.
I'll take that, Hernandez. Hey, that's my paper, man. That's money. This is drug money. It's my money, man. Hey, don't worry about it. I'll fill it out later. <sighs> Welcome home, Carl. Glad to be back. You haven't forgotten about us, have you, boy? Hell no, Officer Tampenny. I was just wondering what took y'all so long. Let's get in the car. Seriously, how the hell did they fig It's like they were literally waiting for me to come home. They were like at the airport, like, come on, any minute, Carl's gonna come back. Get out of here, you greaseball bastard! Stupid Mexican. Damn, dude, come on, you can't just say that. Fuck. Hey, man, my bag. Welcome to blatantly racist 90s LA. We've been robbed by the cops, they arrested us for no reason they left our luggage on the side of the road i'm here to bury my mom you know that yeah i guess i do so what else you got shaking carl nothing i live in liberty city now i'm clean legit nah you ain't never been clean carl well what do we got here uh it's called the train Oh, never mind then. A fine man, I might add. You work fast, nigga. You know I just got off the plane. Well, that's a good thing we found you and retrieved the murder weapon. That yeah, you guys work fast too. Yeah, don't bullshit him, Carl. What the fuck you want from me this time? When we want you, we'll find you. In the meantime, try not to gun down any more officers. <laughs> Y'all can't leave me here. This ball is country. I thought you said you was innocent, Carl. But you don't bang. This is car 58. See you around like a donut, what? Carl. <laughs> <laughs> See me around like a donut. That's a good one. Oh shit. Here we go again. Oh, there's the meme. In the world. Rolling Heights Baller Country. Now I ain't represented Grove Street in five years. But the ballers won't give a shit. Man, fuck the ballers. Also, fuck the little fucking five-year-old kid whose bike I'm about to steal so I can go home. All right, let's see if I can remember the controls for this PlayStation 2 era game. To pedal, hold down X. I believe you can also mash the X button if you want to go into turbo bike mode. Hey, how's it going, ballas? Bam! That's how you declare war, man. Fuck these ballas, dude. Fucking CJ's out here being scared of the ballas. I'm out here openly... Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. I'm out here openly shut shit shit kill him CJ kill him CJ CJ you, you need to kill this man punch him please 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 I can't I can't die first thing that's just against the law there we go yeah all right well I have a gun granted I'm at like 0. 0.2 health but I, 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 I dare I say that went pretty well I think it did all right, holy shit there's a cop right there all right I don't like this radio station how do I change it how do I change the radio? Okay, so it's, it's the D-pad, all right. I'm learning, I'm slowly adapting into these controls, all right? It's gonna take some time, but I will figure this shit out. Boom, fuck this fence. I'm coming through, motherfuckers. CJ is back in town and he is not happy. He just got arrested. He stole a child's bike. He got into a fist fight with a guy with a gun. Won the fist fight, barely. Can I go to... Can I go to Burger Shot this early in the game? Probably not. <clears throat> I'm assuming Burger Shot's probably not open. I don't even know where I would find it. I need to find health. I can't just go into things with no health this early on just because I got in a fucking fight. This is bullshit, I tell ya. Whatever. Walk into the red marker to continue. Bam. Big smoke. We all remember Big Smoke. His tank top looks like it's painted onto his body. Oh man, he found a picture of Moms!
having some serious flashbacks, man. He's like, man, I used to have family that lived here in this house. Now all I can do is touch this picture. The house, what the fuck? Gotta go to the cemetery with fucking green fat Heisenberg here. He's speaking deep like a Redditor, too. The same things make us laugh, make us cry. I really don't want to drive this car. This is not a nice car, CJ. You don't have to lie to him. You don't have to lie to him. This is literally a state. It's, it's a fucking Griswold family vacation car. Sweet and Kendall. At least the game's not making me drive that piece of shit. At least not yet. Tell him what? What do you want me to tell him? What you mean? What, apart from your mother being dead? The hell, Carl? Are you retarded? <laughs> what you mean? Oh, no, 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 no. They got Big Devil? They got Little Devil and Big Devil? Oh, dude, it, they are fucking dead. Give me the names of those motherless cocksuckers. I'm going over there. They got Little Devil and Big Devil, dude. I don't even want to play this game anymore. Fuck. Please don't make me drive. Uh-oh. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, shit, there goes the fucking car. Oh, I remember this. Get on the fucking bike, you dickhead. Get on the bike! There we go. Alright, now we gotta fucking bike our happy asses out of here while men shoot at me. And I have no health, dude. I have no health. There's no way in hell I'm not gonna have to redo this. There's no lily-livered way in hell. <clears throat> Alright, well, I'll do my best. But I'm not gonna make any promises that I'm gonna fucking succeed here. Yeah, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. How am I still alive? Alright, well, I'm going the wrong way. But I'm gonna try... Okay, well, I'm dead. Yeah, well, that was just fate. That's what happens, man. That's what happens when you fuck a stranger in the ass. Because that's literally exactly how I started this playthrough. I started this playthrough with a, a fist fight. With a dude with a gun. He uh, almost ended my shit. All he really did was uh, set me up for the ultimate knockdown. Alright. As sad as that was, we're going to get back on our feet. As soon as these fucking messages... There we go. You know, that guy was surprisingly polite for a GTA NPC. And because of that, I'll, I'll leave him alone. There's a fucking cop right there. Can I just steal this car and pretend the cop won't react. There we go. Alright. Let's find a good radio station. Actually, this is this is a good song. Fuck it. Let's go with this radio station. What is this? K-Dust? I think I remember some of the radio station names in this game. I remember K-Jaw. 
Because Cage Isle is just sort of a reggae station. And when I was younger and I'd play this game, I would always just sort of like default to Cage Isle. When I didn't want to go through the stations. I don't know. I like reggae. Reggae is, is a good music to just sort of casually listen to. Yeah, when I was younger, I would just sort of like default to, to Cage Isle. Because I would just be like, eh, I don't know what I'm feeling. So I guess I'm feeling reggae. Alright, now GTA 5, you got like a zillion radio stations at every given point, so it's like, alright. Alright, well my driving is perfect, look at me go. Oh, this, this sidewalk's wide enough, let's we'll take take the road less traveled here. Why not? Alright. This time I have a pledge, I'm not gonna die, because I have full health, I got a full head of hair, full head of steam. Everything's just gonna work out this time. Slow ride back to Grove Street. Yeah. Alright, see if I can, like, remember how the fuck to go to CJ's house. Oh, wait. I think I missed a turn. Isn't that the way to Grove Street? Kind of like this weird little, uh... Yeah, it's, like, right here. Yeah, there we go. Grove Street, baby. It's beautiful. Look at all the property value we got going here. You pay a whole, like, 14 bucks a month for a house on Grove Street. Alright. Some, something about the NWF. Are you gonna shoot me if I try to hurt you? Yeah, it's too late now. I'm going into the mission. Ha ha! We're also going to skip the shit out of this cutscene. And also this cutscene. And also this next one that I'm assuming is gonna happen this mission's all about riding bikes it's all about riding bikes away from the bad guys with guns you think of how much it would fucking suck to be on a bicycle and there are literally men in a car shooting at you you'd have to get pretty fucking wacky alright I ain't following anyone's lead I'm just gonna ride for my fucking life you guys can suck my asshole fuck you I actually probably should let somebody go in front of me, just so I know which way to go. Somebody go in front of me. Oh my fucking shit, it's these... Not, 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 Jesus, fuck, 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 fuck. Yeah, no shit, asshole, that's what I'm doing. Fucking dickheads. That taxi, like, saved my life, though. Alright, I'm gonna stop. Ow, that did not work out the way that I thought it would. Ow, shit. Fuck me. This is a disaster. Man, get on the bike, you s fucking cuckold. Yeah. No, no, okay, yeah, ride right into the one thing that you can hit. The one thing that you could possibly hit. Hit it. Okay, I'm pretty sure they turned here, right? Yeah, I'm going the right way. We're gonna pass this mission. This is the first mission of the game, and it's, it's like, giving me a run for my asshole here. All right. Here I am, regroup with my bicycle buddies. Uh, Alright. I want to say this is the annoying part. Fuck you. God, I hate Ryder. Fucking Ryder, dude. One thing I remember about this game very distinctly is that Ryder is a piece of shit. And that there's absolutely no motivation to be friends with him at all. And yet you remain friends with him. For way longer than would make s- Oh, god damn it. Ugh, come on, man. I'm just trying to ride my bike. And you gotta, like... You gotta be on the sidewalk. In the way of my bike? Really? Share the- sh Share the road, you fuck! Share the fucking road. You're supposed to share the road, okay? I know that I jumped out in front of you, but... You need to share the road, okay? Be fucking insensitive to your bicycle brethren. Alright, where do these dickheads go? Like, shot through here, and then I might not be going the right way. <clears throat> these guys have no qualms about just abandoning me to the wolves here. What good friends, dude. Also, thank God there's no traffic on this highway so that we can just rip our bikes through here. That's convenient. You know what this bike is missing is radio. I missed the radio. Oh, shit. I also miss not being chased by gangsters. No, 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 no. Get away from me. Fuck you. You're a liability. Suck my fucking penis. 
I bothered coming back so that I could get you to suck on my fucking triple nut Sunday. Alright, I made it. I won the race. No more gangsters. No, we didn't. We were on bikes. You never look gangsta when you're on a bike. We look like a bunch of fucking ten-year-olds out here. You know what? You know the fuck what? I hate Ryder, dude. I hate Ryder. You can save your progress by entering CJ's house. Look at that beautiful bungalow. Who wouldn't want to live there? Who wouldn't want to live in CJ's house? It's like a, a very, very small step up from Tyler Durden's house in Fight Club. Nice. Ooh, I get some respect. Who doesn't love respect? Alright, let's kick somebody's ass real quick. You, you guys are supposed to be representing Grove Street. What's up with the red? What's up with the red, huh? Oh, you're cowards. You don't want to fight me. What about this person? This is a chick. What about you? You want to fight? Oh, see, this lady. This lady's got some courage. She's throwing up them hands. She's losing. She's getting her fucking ass kicked, but at least she tried. Alright, give me your money. What do you got? Yeah, thanks for the money. Alright. I think, if I can remember, there's a place around here where you can get like a... Either a shotgun or a pistol. I'm probably incorrect on this assumption, though. Because I haven't played this game in a while, and I don't remember stuff. Let's beat this guy up. Oh shit, this guy can... Throw some fucking meat hooks. Get out of here. Give me your money. You're homeless. You probably don't have much, but... Yeah. Whatever. He had like 16 bucks. Let's go save. Because you got to remember to save often in this game. Because if you don't save often in this game, then um, you will end up having to redo a lot of shit. Also, if you die a lot, you can kind of get trapped in a loop of... Uh, paying too many hospital bills and if that happens to you then you'll run out of money and if you run out of money you can no longer buy guns and ammo and you end up in kind of a crappy situation so yeah let's explore CJ's house the old bedroom here that camera scared me for a I was like what the fuck is that alright now we have a camera phenomenal how do I use this camera I will use this to take a picture of another picture. There we go. Fucking genius. Do you wish to save this photograph? No. Absolutely not. But thank you. What kind of outfits do I have? Probably nothing. Probably just a fucking tank top and nothing else here. Let's see what we got, though. Let's see. I could take stuff off. Alright. White tanks, all I got. Blue jeans, all I got. Shoes, all I got. Yep, I don't have anything. I do have a nice ass, like... I, dude, look at this. CJ has, like, a closet in a closet. This motherfucker has a walk-in closet that then leads you into another walk-in closet. This house is fucking stupid. This house is weird, dude. Like, why is it such a dump on the outside, but then you come inside and it's, like, not half bad? Look at this, this makes no sense. Like, this house is is totally fine. The floors are shiny, everything, it, it's, it's spick and spam in here. You go outside and it's fucking Paper Street. That is bizarre. Alright, whatever. Go and see Ryder, he lives down the street. Alright. Yeah, he quite literally lives right next door. Who's calling me? Hello? All right, give me some exposition. Is Sweet okay? He sounded like he had a cold. He's like, hey, let me give you a heads up. The ballers were beefing, man. <laughs> 
sorry, man. I don't feel too good. His voice just sounded really weird. Very, like, distorted. Anyway, now I have a shovel, so... The obvious thing to do would be to share my shovel with the world. Come here, you. Again, I don't like the color red on Grove Street. Grove Street is green, bro. Why ain't you representing? Get the fuck off my street with your bullshit. Get <laughs> the fuck out of here. You didn't have any money either. A fucking low rent loser. If you're not green and you don't have money, then get get the fuck off of my Grove Street. Grove Street is my fucking heaven. It's my sanctuary, my paradise, my home. I don't deal with red colored broke bitches. Oh, I'm down. I'm fucking down. Let's go rob a pizza place. Let's go, bitch. That's a, why why'd you have to call me a bitch? I hate you, Ryder. Fucking hate you. You know what, Ryder? Fuck your car, dude. Fuck your car. Fuck your stupid car. And alright, let's let's do the mission now. I just had to get that rider rage out of my system. Fucking hate this guy. Alright. Well, let's run some people over. Ooh, fuck Grove Street. Just killed some Grove Street gang. Killed that guy. So good at driving. Alright, conversation over, gentlemen. We're here. Sorry. I'm too good at driving. Ryder, I'm gonna fucking shove your face in my ass, dude. Alright, Ryder. It's now or never, buddy. Get out of your car. Get out of your stupid car, Ryder. Come on, buddy. No, he's gonna sit in there and let me do all the pizza work. Fine. Time to deliver a fucking Grove Street pizza ball. I gotta get a haircut first. I totally forgot. Alright. Alright. I remember this barber was one of the NPCs whose appearances got changed in the Definitive Edition. And people were not happy about it. Alright. I can afford anything up to the afro and beard. Should I get the afro and beard? Let's see what this looks like. This might just be a good thing to do right- Oh, dude, yes. Fucking- That's black dynamite right there. I'm buying it. Dynamite. Dynamite. Fuck yeah, dude. Look how fucking amazing he looks now. Alright. Thank you. I like this barber. He's a good man. I like him. He gave me a cool hairdo. Granted, it was extremely expensive. You know I take it back. Still got it man, what's this? Shit looks ridiculous. I'm gonna fuck you in the ass. Oh no. Ryder's a feeder. He's a fucking feeder, dude. For those of you who don't know what a feeder is, a feeder is somebody who has a fetish where they like to uh, feed fat people as much as possible so that they get fatter and fatter. Yeah, that's what Ryder's doing. He's like, oh man, you're too skinny. Go in there and eat pizza till you get nice and fat for Grove Street. That's sick, dude. You can't tell me that's not perverse. Whatever. Uh-oh, we got red guys eating in here. I don't like red guys. I can't remember what gang the red guys are. It's not the Vagos, is it? Because aren't the Vagos the purple guys? I don't fucking remember. Whatever. Dude, I would love a pizza, man. But I would actually like more than just one slice. What do you got, man? What, do you, what is that? Uh, the double deluxe? Nah, give me something big, dude. Ryder, Ryder needs me fat. Like, he's not going to be happy unless I'm just ginormous. I need to make myself big and fat for my Ryder. What else you got? 
Alright, well, I guess we know what all the meal options are now. I will take the full pizza. Because I'm a fucking pig, and I'm here to spend my hard-earned money. Next. Ugh, thanks, buddy. That was a pretty well-timed burp. Uh-oh, here comes Ryder. Riding up. What do you like, see his penis? Did Ryder like have his penis out? Oh shit. <laughs> I forgot about the fucking shotgun part. Oh shit. Alright, let's get the fuck out of here. Fuck you. Fuck you, pizza pushover guy. Can I run this guy over? I'm gonna try to run this guy over. Fuck this guy. Yeah. No, I'm killing this guy. We don't have to run away. It's just one guy. Who knows? We might get a sick shotgun out of this deal. Yeah, this guy is durable as fucking shit. Okay, oh, there you go. I was right, we do get the shotgun. Alright, well, let's fucking grab this real fast. Fuck yeah. Excuse me, you need to mind your own business, sir? Really need to, like, mind your own fucking business, please, so that things like that don't happen? Yeah, that's, that's what happens when you... That's what happens when you interfere with gangster pizza business, bro. You can watch your ass. It's Grove Street we're talking. Am I going the right way? I feel like I might be, like, not going the right way. I can't tell. I'm not going to be able to tell until I get to the other side here. I don't know. I'm just going to keep driving, following my heart. Da -da 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 -da. Listening to some music. Yeah, I definitely went the wrong way. Oops. That's okay. Easy fix. Got to make sure not to destroy Ryder's car completely, because I think if the car blows up, the mission definitely fails. But uh, that's not, you know, it'll be worth it just to know that Ryder lost his car. 